Hello YouTube. Today I want to talk about single women and car repairs and my worst experience that I ever had with being scammed by a mechanic. My 1989 van suspension gave way and the weight of the van was on the rear tires. So we had the van towed in to Mr. Olivia's shop, Senor Olivia Auto Repair and Junkyard here in Presidio, Texas. Well, he did a great job repairing the suspension work. But what he also did that was unnecessary that um, sabotaged the van was move the differential system the differential system in the van back two and a half inches and for those of you that have no idea what that is that the diff the differential connects the drive shaft that connects the drive shaft to the transmission enables it to move in and out properly and if you move it back this in the slightest amount it will cause the drive shaft to go in and out of the transmission in the in a improper way and cause damage to the transmission and the drive shaft and both of these components are very expensive so um as we paid um senor olivia eight hundred dollars for the suspension work which he did a great job it took us a month to save up the eight hundred dollars at the time we were just living on Chevy's disability and um, we actually couldn't do any um, hauling because we didn't have the van so we couldn't um, haul water and propane and everything like we usually do so we just stayed home on the ranch and saved up the money for a month and the sheriff department drove us to Mr. Olivia's um, shop to pick up the van. And we paid him the $800. He replaced the suspension work underneath the van with um, junkyard parts from his junkyard, used parts from his junkyard. And um, on our way home, the van was smoking and leaking transmission fluid. And we made it home barely and we made it we, um the next day we drove back to mr olivia's shop and we had to um we ended up putting three gallons of transmission fluid into the um, van for a 20 mile trip we ended up using three gallons of transmission fluid and um so i knew something i knew he had did something shady and so instead of spending more money with him and I, at that time, while I was at his shop, I got underneath the van myself, and it appeared to me that someone had cracked open my um, um, transmission um, block. I'm not sure what it's called, but that wasn't an issue before, before I met Mr. Olivia. And um, so I called another mechanic. He's not licensed, and, um, but he works, and he works out at his home. And he had, he towed the van to his house, and um, he, he now these things happen later on because actually, um, Mr. Alex, Senor Alex, is another mechanic in Presidio, Texas. He took the van, and um, while he had the van, we were waiting to find a, dri a drive shaft for the van. And there's only one size drive shaft, 72 inch for a Ford 1989 van. There's only one size. And I ordered that um, drive shaft for $360 from Quality Auto. And they sent it to us. And when I got it, Senor Alex, who had the van at the time, said that it was the wrong size. So while I'm going through all of this, you know, this, this scam that um, these guys were pulling on us and spending, um, you know, three or four hundred dollars um, for each part that was needed that was damaged due to Mr. Olivia 
moving the differential back two and a half inches, Shebby and I were staying in the shelter. And we ended up staying in the shelter for three months until I figured out that there was only one size for the one only one size drive shaft for the van. And at this time I had called Quality Auto because I was told it the drive shaft was the wrong size. They apologized. They told me to um, dispose of the first part. They sent me another part. So they figured that somebody in their warehouse had made a mistake. So I had gave the first part away. It, I, legally, I, I wasn't able to make any type of profit off it. So I just gave it to uh, a Senor, oh, Senor Leonardo, who's not the licensed. He's not a, a licensed mechanic, but he's a very good mechanic. And um, so I just gave it to him because I figured he can get some use out of it. And I ordered the second part, the second drive shaft, and which they sent me for free, they replaced for free. And um, when I when when it arrived a week later, Senor Alex, the second mechanic, he said that that was the wrong size as well. So at this time, we Shebby and I were staying in the shelter for um, three months, and I had become just you know, I, you know, I was just at my wit's end, and I just put the the second drive shaft on the floor on the ground we was in the parking lot of, of the second mechanic senior alex um company or his um auto shop and we um and i was about to just get under the van because i was like i didn't understand how the original drive shaft could be the wrong size in the first place because that was the drive shaft that came with the van that when the van was manufactured Come to find out, that's when Senor Alex, the second mechanic, confided in me and told me that Senor Olivia had moved the differential back. And that's why the new drive shafts did not work. Now, this is three months later, three months of staying in the shelter, um, hundreds of dollars in transmission fluid. And so um, Senor Alex, he put the differential system back in place. We were able to drive the van home, the 20 miles home. But at this time, all the damage was done. The drive shaft, the original drive shaft was damaged. The transmission was damaged. Um, transmission fluid leaking everywhere. So then I ended up going to the last mechanic, the, the third mechanic, um, Senor Olivia. I mean, not Senor Olivia, no. Senor Leonardo, I'm trying to say. So Senor Leonardo, found a very good used transmission. He used the drive shaft that I had gave him and put that in the van because the second drive shaft that I had ordered from Quality Auto, I had already sent back the second one to get my $360 back. So Senor Leonardo used the first drive shaft that I had gave him and replaced the one that was damaged because of Senora Olivia. So this is a great mess that, and you know, and being single and not knowing, being a single woman and not knowing very much about, um, you know, cars and mechanics and everything. I, at the time I didn't know what to do. And, it, and even now it, it's not much I could have done different because the, we only have, um, you know, we're out here in the frontier and you know, you only have a small group of people that you can choose from in the first place. So when they're operating with lack of integrity and you don't know exactly, you know, what to do, they can really put you in the bind. So, um, Senor Olivia, he had sabotaged the van, basically, um, forcing us to stay in the shelter for three months. It ended up costing us the original $800 that I paid him for the suspension work, which he did good. He did a good job with that, but he sabotaged the van by moving the differential back two and a half inches. And what he, what I believe he planned on doing, he also sells vehicles. So what I think he had planned on doing was not only making more money off of uh, Shelby and myself, but also he was um, banking on us to do more business with him and or buy a vehicle from him. 
So that was a year ago. That was a horrible experience. But one thing I wanted to say to single women is when you go to a mechanic, take someone with you that knows, you know, that has a working knowledge of mechanics, you know, of automobiles, that have some idea of what needs to be done. Um, and also, a lot of people, including myself, I've always kind of shied away from going to dealerships because, you know, everyone said, well, dealerships are more expensive. Well, that may be true, but it's safer to go to a dealership because dealerships have cameras, they have witnesses, you know, they have groups of people working on your car, on your vehicle, and it's a less chance of somebody sabotaging your vehicle. And also you can, they're, they're listed online, so you can do, a, you know, if you feel like you've been ripped off, you can um, submit a review and tell, you know, tell everybody online what happened. You know, so I think it's more safer for single women to deal with dealerships. You, it might cost you more upfront, but in the long run, it's gonna save you a lot of time and a lot of money. Because um, by me dealing with um, Senor Olivia, now he's a local mechanic. It actually, you know, and he replaced the parts for the suspension work with junkyard parts, with, you, you know, used parts. So um, everyone that I talked to thought that that was very steep. You know, that was um, extremely high for used parts and suspension work, $800. And, and we're talking about Southwest Texas as well. So um, then on top of that, I was out of another $800 to repair the damage he did when he moved our differ differential system back and sabotaged the vehicle. And, um, and not to mention the inconvenience of, you know, being away from home for three months, for Christmas, for New Year's, and just all the expenses that came with um, replacing the transmission fluid and buying the new transmission and paying for the um, drive shaft and all of that. So women, it's best to get as much information as you can about your vehicle before you go to a mechanic. Also take someone with you if you can. Um, try real hard to take someone with you because it's, it's just a, um, it's, it's just a standard procedure for mechanics to rip single women off. So, um, and also go to the dealership. You, you, you're, you stand a better chance of getting a fair deal at the dealership. It might be more expensive initially, but I think as a single woman, if you don't have a, a brother, husband, um, father, someone that knows about cars, usually men know, know a little bit more about cars than women. And mechanics are less inclined to rip off men because they they feel like well you know it's a strong possibility that they might know more about what they're doing so thank you you two